What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the build series. Welcome back to the bug. So we're gonna run a new, what was that? Something's making noise. We are going to run a new uh, power cable from the positive on the battery to the starter so that it cranks super fast. We're gonna rewire some stuff. We're gonna zip tie some stuff out of the way. Make sure nothing melts on the exhaust. Check the fluid level and try and get that right. And maybe, who knows, do a freaking fat, smoky burnout in my freaking car. So let's get with it. Woo! I'm dripping with sweat because it is hot out here. But just like usual, my bad luck struck. Um, the post on the starter where the positive line goes on to and the alternator goes on to and actually where the Phytech gets its power from, um, it broke. It's got a little plastic housing where it connects to the solenoid and that just broke. So it still starts and runs and works, but it's a little bit loose. So I'm gonna have to get a new starter or get that solenoid rebuilt. Whatever, that's a problem for another day. We uh, got everything kind of pushed out of the way. I didn't really zip tie anything up right now because I'm just not dealing with it. Um, but I'm going to air up this tire because it has a, a leak and it always goes flat. So I'm going to air up that tire. Uh, I'm going to drop the car back down just a hair off the ground and uh, fire it up and let it idle. Everything's away from the exhaust. Let it idle in park until it gets up to temperature, gets nice and warm. And uh, we're going to check the fluid level, see if we need to pop the dipstick out. And I've got a little pump and we're going to try and pump some ATF out if we need to. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're going to do that. Probably drop it down, fire it up in first gear, and do a freaking burnout today, boys. So, let's do it. try and back it off the lift under its own power. Let's hope. Hope this works.
Here we go. Our first burnout. Door open in case I need to make a quick exit. Make sure there's no fire. Yeah! We did our first burnout in the V8 swap box, boys. Oh, this. Yes. All right. I put a lot of blood, literal blood, sweat, and tears into this freaking car. And we just did our first burnout, finally. I am so beyond happy, beyond grateful that it just worked. We didn't have a fire. I don't know. I don't think anything else got hurt or destroyed so far. We have a lot of work before we can actually drive it and before we do another burnout. But boys, we did it. We did the first burnout in the 1973 6L swapped Volkswagen Bug. Woo! We built at home from a YouTube mechanic. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I cannot explain to you how excited and happy and just relieved I am. I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of stuff to do, but we did our first burnout boys. So it doesn't get much better than that. That's rubber. That's freaking rubber from my radials. Oh yeah. The side was spinning, just not quite as much. We need to weld that diff up. Oh. Oh, it was. It just got blown away. Never mind. We do need to weld that diff, though. Oh, yeah. Everything looks good up under the hood. I don't know if you can even see that. The sun's really bright. But no fires. No nothing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm a mess right now. But thank you guys so much for watching the Two Bros Performance YouTube channel. Thank you so much for bearing with me through this long, tedious build and keeping me going because you guys have been a big motivator. Oh, thanks Park and Dad and Treve and Tyler and all my brothers and sisters and mom and dad and everybody and my wife, especially Emma, everybody for supporting me through all this. I know it's not even remotely done, but we did a burnout, boys. So thank you everyone who supported me. Thank you all you subscribers, all 185 of you. Thanks for watching. Stay hungry, stay humble, stay motivated. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!